Today we're making grilled salmon colors. These beautiful lollipops, spare ribs, chicken wings of the sea. This recipe comes from the amazing Air in London of Al's Place in San Francisco. And we're gonna make a simple tari sauce to go with it. Now the funny thing with collars is that there's only one per fish. So you gotta call up your fishmonger. We'll be a little bit organized and just ask them to put some aside. First up, we're gonna make a tari sauce. It's a Japanese dipping sauce or glazing sauce. So first up, we're gonna do half a cup of mirin, which is basically sweet cooking rice wine. We're gonna do half a cup of soy sauce. Yeah, I know, I know. I should have removed the top off. So we got that, we're gonna drop that in a medium saucepan. We're gonna do a quarter cup of sake, which is rice wine. So loud. All of them. And one cup of water. Half teaspoon of sugar. And then we're gonna do two garlic cloves. One red chili. Keep the seeds in. We want that heat. A two inch piece of ginger. Have you guys heard about this technique of peeling ginger with a spoon? Sorry, that sounds so jaded. Don't put that in. And just thinly slice it into some coins or rounds. Boom, we're good. Now we're gonna place this on the stove top. We're gonna bring it to a boil. Once it comes up to a boil, we're gonna reduce it to a very, very, very low simmer and let that reduce by half. Next, we're gonna prep these salmon collars. These are our lovely salmon collars. They're a really special part of the, of the fish and they're the secret uh, oyster spot. So this is two collars that were split in half and you want the fishmonger, or you could do it yourself, to cut the fins, just to kind of check over, make sure everything's scaled and looks good. So when you grill it, the skin gets super crispy and you don't get any kind of weird scales in your mouth. So our tari has reduced by half. We're gonna let it cool for about 30 minutes and then we're gonna strain it and discard all the aromatics. We're gonna do a light season. My light seasoning might be your regular seasoning though. We're gonna turn them, turn these bad boys, these bad ladies. And go again, flesh side. A bit of flesh you don't get. You have to turn it a third time or you'll miss. We're gonna transfer these collars to a downsized resealable plastic bag. I like it, it's easy for marinades, how to do dishes. I don't want to do that. We're going to reserve about a quarter cup. And the remaining we're going to use as a marinade. Let it marinate for at least 30 minutes or up to two hours. And give it a little toss just to coat everything. You could chill it. If you're afraid, I'll leave it out. You like to play with danger. But we're going to turn on the grill. We're going to preheat it, we're going to get that real hot. Come with me, we're going to go to the grill. Yeah, you guys think Brad's so manly. So our collars have been marinated, we're going to take them out, and we're going to just oil the grates. I just kind of use paper towel, you can use a kitchen towel. Okay, we're going to grill the salmon, skin side down. Don't touch. No, don't touch. Let it go for five to seven minutes. You want the skin to get really crisp. And while it's cooking uh, skin side down, we're gonna baste it with some tare. A couple times, two, three times. And it's gonna get like really sweet and sticky. Once it's done, the skin will release, and then you're ready to flip. So don't be messing with it. I'm not messing with it. You should be messing with it. I feel like Alton Brown when I do this. Okay, now we're gonna flip these bad boys. Use tongs and a metal spatula. I'm just gonna use my hands because I'm I'm crazy like that. This one stuck a little bit, but the skin's still released. We're gonna grab that skin. We're gonna let it go to waste. We're gonna let them go for another 46 minutes, flesh side down, until they're cooked through. You are the master of your fire. You are the master of your domain. Reduce the heat if you see that there's a lot of flare-ups especially when it's flesh side down. This, this is perfect to me. I like it really, really crunchy, where it's almost like shattering. Yeah. 
Some of these are already done. Once you see the flesh separating like this, that's not how you know when your when your collars are done. So this one we're gonna just scoop up. Let's go plate it up. All right. So I know you have to call your fishmonger or whoever you get your fish from to try to find collars, but I promise you it's worth it. I like to put some pickles on it. We don't have pickles today. If you want to do some pickled daikon. We're just gonna put some scallions. It's only sliced into kind of matchsticks. Put them in ice water, they curl like this. Oh. There you have it. The chicken wings of the sea. Grilled salmon collars with some tare and some curled scallions.